just walking down getting ready to go to the barn and I just noticed these white feathers. Good morning modern steaders. 49 degrees out this morning. Just a quick little reminder that winter's coming. <laughs> and the pigs heard us coming. I can't believe here it is August and it's 49 degrees out first thing in the morning. Oh, someone touched the fence. I can't believe you haven't learned not to touch the fence there, Chops. There you go. It's supposed to get into the upper 80s today, so it's going to be a warm one. room in the new barn just for milking the goats can't get into any time goats are very mischievous and if you leave anything out they're gonna get into it if they can so having our milking area in the barn area we have to keep everything up high and even when we keep it up high they can knock it over still so you can't keep very much stuff out in the barn I'm always lugging it in and out from the house so it's gonna be nice to have an area dedicated to keep all the goat stuff in Two cups of milk this morning. You kiddos want to get out? Oh, Blossom, you want to come in? In and out, in and out. You guys hear the meat birds? Pluto's like, I'm going to check on them. Something chewed the handle. What? Look at this, guys. What is going on? So whatever it was that ate, whatever it was that ate the rope, tried getting in right here. I found wooden strips on the ground, and you could see claw marks right here. So something tried digging in and under, but they didn't make it. Now we gotta go check on the black copper morans and olive egg layers. I don't know what it is, but something wants our meat birds. I'm hoping that we didn't lose any of the black copper morans or our other olive egg layer. What the heck, guys? What would do this? They're shredding up the rope. One, two. They cut it into like five, six pieces. What would do that? That's just redonkulous. We got four chickens this morning. I have no idea what wants our chickens, but seeing how it's shredding up that rope makes me think it's like some gnarly little like Tasmanian devil. Like why, what would shred up a rope like that? Yeah, give me your feed. Morning Moose, you gotta stop protecting the whole pasture over here now, mister. We have to get a game camera, set a game camera out out here so that way we can see what's trying to attack our chickens and what time of the night they're coming in at. Just walking down, getting ready to go to the barn. And I just noticed these white feathers. I'm gonna have to look back when I edit the video. I don't know if these feathers were out first thing this morning and I just didn't notice them. These white feathers are new since we went in the house and ate breakfast. Morning Figaro. I'm gonna say these are from CWC. We got some there, it looks like they go over here, but then we got more over here. I 
We got a mess of feathers all over the place. Holy moly, guys. Bunch more over here and over here. I'm not seeing old CWC anywhere, so let's take a walk over to NYC and see if she's over here. I'm not seeing her, but I'm also hearing moose under here. He was under New York City. So that makes me think there was just a predator around and that's why the chickens were hiding. So I almost wonder if they just came and got CWC since I've been eating breakfast. We need to get a have a heart trap, set it out and see what is going on here guys. Cause I'm not seeing CWC. <sighs> the homestead's not gonna be the same without her. Figaro, you were supposed to protect old CWC. Yeah, you were supposed to protect her. All right, we need to start by trimming our doors down this morning. I'm gonna start with the one that Gina finished making yesterday. That's gonna go in the back. Oh yeah, it's gonna weigh a little bit. Ooh. All right, so now we need to trim this down to the rough opening size. Grab my tape measure. We left it two inches wider all the way around, so that way we can trim it up now, square it up, and get nice clean cuts on the edges. So we'll get this door cut first. We're gonna make it a Dutch door. I want to have a quarter inch gap on both sides. So that's 42 and 3 8. So if we go 41 and 7 8, that'll give us a quarter inch gap. Got 41 and 7 8. Got 41 and 7 8. And then I want our door to rest on the bottom there. Quarter inch gap. So 79 and a quarter. Make sure it's square. Yeah, so we'll go 79 and a quarter. And then after we're gonna trim out the inside for our weather strips. So we're gonna start off with our first edge getting cut with our drywall tee. Because we have 82. We'll mark the line. And then over here, I have a nice, long, straight edge. And then go a half inch on this side to the line. Boom. Adjust our depth all the way down. Need a new battery. Look at that, I like it. The nice thing with having power down here is we got a charger now. Let's 
double check. We're gonna cut where we want to cut. Yep, perfect. Clamp's gone and we'll figure out where we need to cut it on each side. Overall, we have 43. So we need to take a half inch off on each side. Half inch, one inch. Boom, boom. See if the saw can do it. It's gonna be a long cut for it. Nice. That gives it a nice edge. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot, guys. Yes, sir. Woohoo. Yep, that's gonna be so nice. Whew. All right, so we need 42, which is right, move the tape measure up here, and then so we'll go 41 and a half. Let's go 42 here, 41 and a half. Oh. Get it there, get it there. Oh yeah. This next step is how we're gonna make it into a Dutch door. Uh, I think this is an awesome little trick. Little golden nugget I got from Jamaica Cottage Shop, so can't wait to try it. So I wanna cut the front at 41. Let's mark it. That'll give us how much up high in the back? 38, perfect. So if we cut this at 41. The key to this now is setting our saw depth to half of this thickness of so one of these boards. And our boards are three quarters of an inch thick. So let's set our depth to three quarters. That's two inch, inch and a quarter, three quarters. Let's go a little over, go like seven eighths, boom. We only want to cut through one layer. Awesome. So now I want to put the door on the floor. So this was marked at 41. So we're gonna go 41 and a half.
Alright, so we're gonna go the same depth now. We have our Dutch door with an overlay so the two will meet and seal nicely. When we get it up, I'll show you how that's gonna work, but man, that's gonna be nice. All right, I should have my hinges here. I should have two bags of them. I'm gonna need four of them. Perfect. This is the style hinge I got. If we need bigger, we'll change them out, but we've had really good luck. For these heavy-duty gate hinges, we use them on the goat barn and other areas. I'm thinking so. I noticed those when I was walking out to start working on the doors. It is, but you're gonna have to go get the have a heart trap today. Uh, yeah, I don't know if something got CWC last night or if it was this morning, because I didn't know. Because I didn't notice those feathers until I came down to the barn to start working on the doors. So we have something that's being a predator right now. I don't know. I'm gonna have to edit, when I edit this video, I'll find out if those feathers were there when I fed the pigs or not. I think you would have noticed that. It's not I, unnoticeable. Right. So it must have. If it, that's the case, it happened while we were eating breakfast. But I think we would have heard something. Right. I don't know. I'll go back and edit. And find out. So I want to go eight inches down. I'm gonna go six inches down. I'm gonna go. I'm sad about the chicken too. Five inches, and then we would have. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, the worst part about the taper is you can't. You have to do it like that. So you can't just put a square line and go off the square line. This one outside for now. Put the door up. You should put the latches, the hinges on the other side. Watch. Just because I wanted to stay. Let's get this wedged up. So this. Okay, so this side is too high now. All right, so what do you have? Give me that one right there. Oops. Tanner, come on. He's trying to figure out how. All right, give me a different one. That actually looks good, right? But that one don't. Let's see. So yes, it's got to come up. Hold that. It's good right there. That's why I did. And that's exactly why I did the back door first. So if we didn't like something, it was on this door, not one we're going to be staring at all the time. Usually I'm like, hey, let's do the, like you said, the good door first. 
then if you do that, if you have an issue, it's the, so you're better off learning what you don't like on a bad door or one you're not gonna see as much. So if we set it right here, I want my door to set on here. So I wanna have a little bit of a gap in between the two doors so that way they're not hitting when we go to open them. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna wipe any dirt off the bottom. Wait, on, on. Yep, perfect. Uh, you all right? I think that gap looks nice and even. I like it. Let me remove the spacer. We'll save this for the other Dutch door. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, now open half. So we would just, the only half you can open is the top by itself. The way this is made, if you go to open the bottom, it pulls the top with it. Yeah. Because otherwise you're always trying to fight them. But if you had one open, you could just open the other one. Correct. And then you have a handle? We got to do a handle, yep. Well, I'll go inside and I'll get the trim set inside. So this is, I want you to tell me when the store is flush to the outside. Oh. And then I'll get that trim set and then you can screw all the trim in on the inside after. So like this store is already flush here. I want to do the same thing on that side. So I want this to hit the door. So that way we have a good seal. Can you push the door so it's flush to the trim? With just the bottom or the top? All of it. More? Good. Okay, I'm gonna do the top now. Okay, open up the top part of your door. That could go out a little bit more now. How about this one? Shut the top top, see what happens. Okay, open it. Try that. Push the door, push the door. In still. Well, how tight do you, like, do you want me to be putting pressure on it? Yeah, you got to put pressure on it. If I put pressure on it, I can get it fine. Okay, that's where it is then. So while you take care of the trim work, I'm gonna cut this other door up, up and get it ready to install. Did you find a piece of wood, Tanner? Here's my straight edge, and I found out that this isn't straight. It's got a bow in it. Our door we made outside has a bow in the center. It's lacking a little bit, so now we know that. We'll make sure we do better on these other doors. And that's the reason why I did the back door first. It's the one we're gonna see the least. So if we have a little hiccup like we did, it won't drive me bonkers. Yeah, I can see it right here, guys. So let's do this. Ah, 
I destroyed that blade. All right. I'm gonna take an inch off of this side. to remember to set the depth gauge to seven eighths. What's that? That would be a bummer. Right? If we cut all the way through. Set it to 42. So it would be 41. Hope we did it right. <laughs> Because the door's short. There we go. Perfect. So it is called those, all those things. Yep. Technically, that one's an impact driver. So what's the difference? You know how that one goes. That's oh, I impact. Kind of don't like that part. Oh, crazy white chicken. <sighs> Feathers everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, that's not very tall. <laughs> We're about to make a sign. I like that right there. Perfect. Looks beauteous, I think so. No, you didn't screw all the other ones yet. Nope, not the bottom one. All right, open that top pot. Go all the way. It should be able to go right up against the barn. I like it. Crazy white chicken got in there. Oh no. Yeah, I think the predator got the crazy white chicken. You want to see the door? Perfect timing. So look, it's going to open just the top. Whoa. Or you can do the top and the bottom. Like that? Yeah. So the goats can have fresh air. You think you found the attacker's footprints? Yeah, there's a footprint right there. 
and right then here. Okay. There's also one right there. Huh. Wonder what done it. And there's something over there. Mm -hmm. And then the one that I saw, it was up there, and it was like right there, and there's like four little. Trail. You're gonna have to get a trap today instead of trap tonight. Let's cut one of our pressure treated two by fours down. Found a chicken toe. Yeah. Wrong you found a chicken toe? Yep. Where? Oh, I found it right there. Oh, I don't know if that's the chicken toe. It's part of the chicken. It's his esophagus or something. It's not the chicken toe. Well, it kind of looks like so yeah, I'd say this is where CWC got eaten. Looks like a little bit of blood right here. And then there's yeah, there's blood that. there. That wing over there. Yep, they gut her here. Poor CWC. Yep. So whatever tried getting, C or whatever got CWC destroyed the ropes over here. And this. And they did that. And also, they broke some of the wooden slats for there and dug in the ground right here. Yep. Look at that wrinkly egg. Super. Another, yeah. They like to give us 17 quite a bit. Yeah, we have. We have a couple of live traps to set. I just hope we don't catch this guy tonight. Stay out of the traps, mister. set the little ones. This little habit hard trap's the one we used to catch the skunks last year. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll put a link to that one right here. Yeah, that was quite an adventure the first time we learned we had skunks. If you want to laugh, 
<laughs> Check it out. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to see what we catch, guys. I hope it's not that guy right there. You'll have a long night, mister. Be good. Yesterday, I, I announced to you guys that we're gonna be partnering with five other YouTube homesteaders, and we're gonna be bringing you guys a DIY homestead know-how crash course. And I'm excited to be telling you guys about this, but I'm really excited and just blown away with how good the response has been from you guys. It's been over, I think over like 1,800 people have already signed up for the Homestead Know-How Crash Course. That is just awesome. Thank you, guys. Inside this free video course, you're going to learn the basics in homestead design, what to think about before you're setting out on a homestead, how to plant a fall garden, and so much more. In the video I'm doing, I'm talking about how we're designing our homestead here in our cold climate that we're in, and how we're designing our barn and the layout of the barn with how it works for a homestead in general, but also how it works for our homestead because we're in a colder climate. So if you guys want to check out that video, there's a link in the description down below. Click on it. There's videos. There's that video that we put out. Then there's also a video from Justin Rhodes. There's a video from Ben and Meg Holler. There's a video from Casey Ostrich and Jason from So the Land. And then also Mike Dickerson from The Fit Farmer. They all have awesome, amazing videos. We've been trying to check them out here and there and we have a chance and I can't wait to catch up on all of them. But this is a free viewing from August 5th to the 11th. And then after that, you're gonna have a chance to sign up for Justin Rhodes' Abundant Permaculture Membership website. And I believe it's going to be 15% off at the time. But not only are you gonna be getting his membership website, but we're gonna be putting out a video a month. And we're gonna be letting you guys dictate of what you want that video a month to be about. Do you want it to be more about the barn build? Do you want it to be more about what we're doing during the winter? you guys are going to be telling us what you want that how-to video to be based on. With the membership website, there's also a huge Facebook forum group that Justin's been building over, I think, two or three years now. We're going to be active on that group, replying to you guys and seeing what's going on in the comments. So we're excited for that, and we're really excited to be able to interact more for the one-on-one -on -one basis with you guys. So I'm going to put the links in the description down below. Go on over, sign up for it, and you'll get free access to the 11th to watch the videos. And we'll be talking more. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. <sighs> Today was a doozy. We have a lot of stuff we need to get done with the barn so we can get the new livestock animals here in, what, two, three days? I don't even think it's, yeah, two days now. Huh. And now we've got to worry about the predator that it's attacking. CWC, man. We'll have to make some kind of memorial for her, but... That was our best chicken. I know a lot of people are going to be upset because she got taken and we let her free range, but she would not have been happy if she was stuck in New York City or any other coop. She just had that free range spirit. So it's sad to see her not here anymore, but she lived an awesome life. That was what she did. That was fit her spirit perfectly. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. Keep your chin up. There's always something that happens, but... We're just going to roll with the punches. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.